Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Good Priming, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 episode. In this episode, I'm just going to be talking and getting some um, glass and building. That's it. That's all I'm going to be doing. It's crazy, right? But before we get started, always and forever. Thank you, Mr. Subscribe Bell. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Steven, good job on, the, on that animation. That was, that was some top quality animation by Steven over there. Uh, if you didn't know, Steven uses Blender 3D and he uses uh, Unity. Uh, I think it's Unity 3D. And he uses Unreal Engine. Okay, so if you ever wanted to import your own meshes and awesomeness into Roblox itself under Roblox Studio, you can absolutely do that. So, it's interchangeable. Um, you, and, and RBX files. So, like, if you're using the Microsoft 3D Paint to, like, draw some awesome 3D object that you want to put into Roblox, you can do that, too. So, um, I don't think I have any tutorials on that. Oh, that would be an awesome series. I think we might have to do that. I waited a little too long to jump into the game. We're probably not going to get that many glass dingies. That's fine. Hmm. <clears throat> I have to say, the weather uh, this weekend and throughout the week has been nice. You know, it's not too hot. Uh, there's a little bit of rain. Had a had a barbecue. I made a brisket. A brisket. Those things are awesome if you make them right. So I had to, had to wake up at like nine o'clock in the morning, and uh, I I put uh, mustard all over it, front and back, and it was a thirteen pound brisket yeah it's big and we ended up cutting it in half so it didn't take so long to cook because you have to get it up to like 202 degrees for it to be finished and I smoked it because I got myself a smoker if you guys don't know what that is it's a it's a like a barbecue but it uses pellets and smoke instead of uh, like flame and heat it was really good why is the sound down is the sound down I think the sound no? Sounds okay. Hmm. Strange. Anyhow. <sighs> thank you all for, for the concerns. What was that? Something in the background. Thank, thank you all for the concerns of like whether or not I was quitting lumber. I'm not quitting lumber. I'm just... Um, like, there's more to Roblox than just lumber. But all of you seem to come to watch my, my lumber videos. And... For the exact same thing happened that I said was going to happen. Like everybody who says yes, we'll we'll continue to watch. We'll watch. That's the like that's a small portion that will still watch whatever game I play. You know, but uh, lumber is a bit dated, and I'm not I'm not gonna lie. It's still fun. It is still fun to play. It's fun to go and explore, and it's fun to find things and to uh, go all over the place. In fact, uh, if we end here, I will go and grab some logic. We'll, we'll play with some logic gates. <gasps> Ooh, I can make that about the episode. Uh, in fact, like I don't know what the title of this video is. I haven't made it yet. And I mean, we might have something awesome. It could be like new secrets in lumber, you know, whatever the case may be. I have no plans for uh, content. I just jump in and go. Oh, and by the way, for all of you aspiring YouTubers out there or aspiring Twitch streamers, whatever the case may be, I'm going to give you a bunch of tips on what to do, how to start, okay? Don't go out and buy a bunch of equipment. Don't go out and think that you're gonna spend a ton of money and all of a sudden that's gonna make your videos awesome and great. It's not gonna happen. It doesn't happen that way. That's not how this works. Oh, did I get it? I did get it, because I got the open box symbol. Oh. But what, what happens is people go out and they spend all this money and they think, oh, it's, it's gonna increase my videos and my revenue and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't, it, that's, that's a false, idea hold on come on open up get out the door get out the door get out the door please <sighs> wait where am i okay okay sir mm. 
out the door. You know what we can do? Here, let's just do this. Open that. Oh wait, I can't do that yet. Hit B, put it back in the box. Close this, there we go. Now, open this, click on this, and I don't know how I clicked on that. I didn't have direct line of sight on it. That's weird. Anyhow, we'll just we'll just take it back over. Um, what you need is a passion to go and record. That's it. Stop making excuses. There's there's nothing standing in your way to go and record a video right now. Literally, while you're watching this, I'm telling you. If you really want to do it, if you want to become a YouTuber, if you want to start, if you want to make videos on video games or whatever the case may be, go do it right now. Don't wait for, for some kind of awesome equipment to come by. Don't wait for some awesome computer. Those are just nice to have after you get started. But if you don't start and get into a routine of like, hey, every day around this time, around whatever time you have available instead of going and playing a video game by myself or going and, and watching some youtube videos i'm going to take 15 30 minutes and i'm going to go record a video you know take a take some time to learn some editing software and there's a bunch of free stuff out there okay there's a ton of free things uh, if you're needing the software to record OBS, Open Broadcast Software, go download a copy of it. It's free. Watch a couple tutorials. Watch a couple of my tutorials on like how to set up the camera, how to set up your scenes, stuff, stuff like that, and go and record. Uh, if you don't have a nice microphone, grab the earbuds off your iPhone. Well, iPhones don't have earbuds anymore. And I think they got rid of them on the Samsungs as well, the Androids. Go grab a pair of earbuds, plug them in. If you have a microphone, like some laptops will have the uh, the headset connection. That means it's got the five rings, not the three rings. Basically, it's for the left ear, the right ear, and the microphone. Okay, what else was I, I gonna do? I was gonna go check out the logic, right? We're gonna go grab some logic. Let's go, let's go see if Hoover's back yet. Probably not. It's only been seven minutes. Um, but go. Go and record. You know? The only person stopping you is you. Nobody can tell you that you can't become a YouTuber. Nobody can tell you that you can't become the world's best Pokemon player. It's not... Ooh, hello. Thank you for the invite to the party. Um, why is my Windows game bar on... Oh, it's gonna be seven minutes. Okay, Google. Oh. Hold on. No, go back. What? What? No, cancel. Get out of there. Close all that. Okay, Google. Set a timer for six minutes. Six minutes, starting now. See, and what that'll do, it'll give, give me a little bit of time to like, run around him in like one minute to get back. <laughs> oh, we've spent a little bit of money. What, 40,000? 40, 40,000 out of the 20 mil? Wow. A lot of people ask me like, Code, how'd you get so much money? People gave it to me. Lots of, lots of people give me money instead of like gifts and presents and stuff like that. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay if you if you want to donate or something like that. That's cool. Uh, just so you know, I do play in private servers, and um, I don't join public very often. Uh, I will do people in my private server on the weekends. That's something I like to do for the the live stream. I mean, that was a lot of fun. I love that I've got cones. That should be good. I've, I've slowly but surely been cleaning this base up, you know, just to kind of get it in a working order. You know, look a little nice. Is that another duck? That's a ducky. 
the quack is still broke. I wonder if the Squidward painting is broken. Oh, that doesn't work. Hold on. There we go. Do I have a Squidward? I thought I did. Hold on. I think the Squidward paintings are towards the back, aren't they? Uh oh, I dropped I dropped a, a green bobble head. Wobbly wobble. Wobbly wobble wobble wobbly wobble wobble. Boom. Pick that up later. Oh, I do have Squidwards. Yay. Hold on. Say it. Bold and bright. Nice. I'm surprised that that's not copywritten. Of course, is SpongeBob so old that it's now like public domain? How old does something have to be to be public domain? I don't know. Anyhow, what was I talking about? I was talking about uh, if you want to become a YouTuber, you know, just do it. Just start. Now, here's a trick. Keep talking, okay? Because uh, you'll find that a lot of YouTubers will cut out the slow parts where they're not talking that much. And I don't believe in that. I think you should see the entire gameplay in its entirety. Otherwise, it just it feels cheated. It feels like a, another recorded episode of, like, some show. But, I mean, that's the purpose of YouTube is to entertain, right? Hold on. What is that? Is that a... It's like a green axe or something. Here, I'm going to just set that on the base. Do I have a place for duckies? I don't have a place for ducks. <laughs> okay, this is a little messed up. I'm gonna put the ducks in with the turkeys. <laughs> uh, do I have a, like a, a place for um, silverware and stuff? I don't, I don't think I've got one for plates. I don't, okay. We're going to stick them in with... Wait, do I have yellow wood over there? I do have yellow wood. Where was the yellow wood over here? Here, we'll we'll get these out of here, and then those amber axes, we'll add plates to them, because we don't have very many plates on the base. And candy, we should have, we should have candy down at the end. So let's go back. <laughs> There's candy. We'll just take the bag and stick it on the outside like that. Boom. Yay! <laughs> and off we go into the wild blue yonder yellow wood. We're going to home. Oh, it's like flying around the back, like slow down, cowed. Boom! Yoink! Yoink! Nothing but that. Okay, it was a little bit of a. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, OBS. Make sure that you have OBS for uh, your recording software so you can record. I don't know how much time we got left, but I'm just going to talk the entire time anyway. Um, if you're wanting to record console games, you're going to have to have a way to get it onto the computer. Now, if it's on an Xbox One or if it's on a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5, you can cast that to your computer. So basically, your computer has the ability to um, become the screen of the console. When you do that, then you can have OBS capture that screen, and then you'll, you'll just use your microphone through OBS through your computer. That's how I, I used to do it, and then I went and, I went and purchased one of these things. Boom. Yes. That's right there. That's an Elgato. All right. It's a, this is the HD60S. And what this is, is you take the, um, the HDMI from your console, right? And you plug it in here. And then you plug this into your console. And this HDMI out, you plug into the TV. And then you have... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Google. And then you have this USB. That's an HDMI. Hold on. Where's the other one? Go. Where's the other one? Right. Yeah, that that USB right there that plugs into your computer, and that's what ta like brings the screen over to the computer. It's got its own software that comes with it, by the way. 
but oh I also ordered my um, Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition books I know 5th edition has been out for a little while but I cleaned out all of my D&D bags all of my Dungeons and Dragons bags and I tell you what I had some old school rules hi I run this ferry um, when do you run next? Eight seconds. No, no, no. Oh, Hoover. You just about got me. You just, it was right there. Should we do a cave run instead? Logic sounds fun, but I, th I think I'm going to do a cave run. You know? I don't have any purpose of doing a cave run. I I've, I've know the cave, like, inside and out. But, you know, I've, I've not done it in a while. So, it could be closed. I have no clue. I don't know if it's closed or not. Have you guys been to the cave? If you've been to the cave, do hashtag cave down below. Hashtag cave. Let me know in the comments. Um, does anybody ever like turn on Easy Lemon, which is this song? Just to play in the background while you work or do homework? I do that sometimes. Uh, I've gotten used to the habit of putting on the sound of rain or um, spaceship sound, which is like a low hum. But those are the two that I like to put on whenever I'm programming or concentrating, stuff like that. That's why I made the, uh, what is it, the one hour of concentration music. I haven't even gone to see how that's go that, that video's doing. We got a little bit of time. I could probably go look, but I'm, I'm not going to do that right now. We got a game. We got to play. Whoa, glitchy. There's a glitch. I've been glitched. Okay. Look at Hoover standing up there with the tie in his face. <laughs> you want to jump out, code? <laughs> no, dude. I know what happens when you jump out. It like goes crazy. No! No! Okay, that's fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. We're fine. Should I come up here and stand with you, Uber? If you want to, code, I'm gonna flip your truck anyway. <laughs> Alright, fine. Can I drive? No, it's my ship. Well, please, just a little. No! Get away from the wheel. Alright, sorry. I'm sorry. Can I honk the horn? <laughs> You're funny, Cole. Don't flip my... Don't flip it. Got it? <laughs> hey, he didn't flip it. Sweet. Thanks, Hoover. Anytime, Cole. Where is the cave? Oh, there it is. Couldn't see it without the shadows. Had to get close enough. Alright, so let's turn on our lights. Oh wait, lights are on. And hopefully I've still got this thing memorized. Let's see. Get down to the very bottom, and we're just gonna go to the right. Like this. Or not like that. Like this. And then we take a left, and we follow this long hallway until we find the J-hook. And the J-hook is right here to the right. This is the J-hook. Goes up to the top and back around door one. Okay, so door one is closed. So now we go back down the J-hook. Long hallway. We go straight across. We're going to go to the left. Then immediately to the right. A sharp, sharp right right here. And then this is what I call the wishbone. We're going down the right side of the wishbone if you're looking at your own map. Bottom of the wishbone. To the left should be door number three. Right there. And then to the left here should be door number two. If you're if you're going from the order. Door number two. So door numbers one, two, and three are closed. Don't worry about that little guy. This little guy right here, that's that's for people that get lost and stuck. So we're gonna head back up and to the right. And go straight across. Turn to the left. And if you go immediately right right here, I call this the H bridge. Because this is like the the middle of the map from the beginning of the map. If we were to go straight right here, that would go back up to the top. 
So we're going to go right and to the left right here. That's to the paint shop. And then this hallway right here, this is for door numbers four and five. So we go straight across. Do not go left. Left will get you all kinds of lost down there. Straight across. To the right should be door number four. And then door number five is straight here. Door number five is closed. So now I need to go back this way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Where did I go? Okay, there's four. You do not want to go to the right. You want to stay to the left. Go down the long hallway. Now you turn to the right. Door number seven will be right here on the left. Ooh, door number seven is closed. Door number six it should be right around this corner. They're all closed. So, if doors number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven are all closed, you cannot get to blue one. So, poopy. We'll head back up this way. I'll go to the right. Take a right. And then we can go left, right, and then left again. And we should see the shop. The paint shop. Any new paint? Any new paintings? Nothing new. You know, I think we need to have fans start drawing really good pictures and put really good fan art pictures inside here. Or could you imagine your favorite YouTuber posters? Just saying. Defaultio. You could make some mad money from YouTuber posters. You should do that. You should get, like, Bunny Films. Throw his poster in here. Code Primate. Just saying. That guy's great. Uh, Jack UK. Anybody that does lumber, you should throw them in here. You know, I wouldn't ask for any profit from it. Just the simple fact that you put my face into a game that would be awesome. Now here's here's the difference in between me promoting myself versus like everybody else. I've already been put into the game. When you guys close out sometimes, or when you like destroy your bases, you hear the outro. That's me. That is exciting. That's cool. So I think it would spice up the game just to start adding little Easter eggs of YouTubers who play this all the time. I'm just saying. It doesn't even have to be big. It could just be somebody's sound. Like, outro. You know? I think that's really cool. Okay. Jump out. Link's logic. I don't even know what to get. Link? Any recommendations? Well, we are having a sale on lasers today. Ooh. Let's go get some lasers. Is this a, that's a laser detector. That's the actual laser. How much are the lasers? Let's see here. How much for a laser? 11.3. Yeah, I'll buy it. See, that's why I've got 20 million. That's, that's why I had 19 million. Is because I'm such a cheap steak. Cheap, cheap steak? I'm a cheap steak. <laughs> One of the best cuts. No, um, I'm cheapskate. Cheapskate. I'm like eleven thousand dollars for a laser. But if you use the rule of like moving the decimal place, like that's not dollars. It just it's money. That's what they say. It's monies. So if you move the decimal place two to the right, it's only a hundred and thirteen dollars. I think. Yeah, so that's $113, which for a high-powered laser like that, that, that's a reasonable price. I mean, you check eBay, and that would be about the same price. <clears throat> Anybody know how many rupees are in a dollar? Is it rupees? Rupees. There we go. I think three's fun for now. Pew, pew, pew. 
Man, I remember when I used to... Oh, I got four. I remember when I used to struggle just trying to get the uh, one laser. You know? Hoover, you stuck around, buddy. <laughs> Come on aboard, Code. Come on my way, bud. Boom. All right, how long? How long we got? Hi, I run this ferry. Yeah, I know. We talked just earlier. 15 seconds. That entire run, going down there to the paint shop, to the all the doors, and grabbing this, that took less than seven minutes. Really? That's nice. That's awesome. We're at the 25 minute mark, and you know, it takes three minutes to get across. That'll be 28 minutes, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. That's a whole episode. And I, I told you guys all about kinds of cool stuff. Oh, by the way, other software that you're going to want to get. Uh, you need to make some good thumbnails. Okay, so download GIMP, graphics, or it's GNU Image Manipulation Program, or, uh, and GNU stands for not, I don't know, I don't know what it stands for, like, you can Google it, but GIMP, it's a, it's an image program, it's as powerful as Photoshop, um, but it's free. Tell, look at all this free little tidbit information that you're getting, you know? If you're under the age of 13, ask your parents first. If you're over the age of 13, that's up to you if you want to get in trouble or not. You know, it's it's your choice. If you're under the age of 13, second of all, why are you watching my videos? My my content is not intended for kids. Actually, it is. I mean, it's not intended for anybody under the age of 13. But if you're under the age of 13, and you're here. Don't say anything. Just, you know, watch YouTube. Do your thing. I I remember when I was littler. When I was smaller, um, everything required you to be like 18 or over uh, to sign contracts, to agree to things, right? So I'd always put in my birthday as like 20 years before my actual date. It, that, that's what we did. I'm not encouraging you to do that. I'm just telling you what I did whenever I was small. Schmoll. So. <sighs> There's got to be some way to verify, you know? Trust, but verify. Because just having somebody say that they're a certain age, that doesn't... Like, you can't, you can't certify that. You can't back that up. Oh, solve this math equation. Wait, what? That doesn't tell you how old I am. I mean, you could deter most people just by saying, hey, enter your social security card. Enter your social security number. It will not be saved to our database. It will only be used to verify your age. Because I, I think you can do that. I think you can use social security numbers uh, to verify ages, right? I think. I don't know. That might be a bad idea. In fact, isn't that the whole purpose of LifeLock or something? That's the company that they're like, oh my goodness, your your uh, thing, your whatever was used. Hold on, what is this? Okay, hold on. Okay, that's not right. Let's move. We're going to turn. Rotate, rotate, rotate. There we go. I think that's right. Going to move this again. I'm gonna stick that right on the edge. There we go. Oh, look out, Reuben. I'm gonna shoot you with lasers, bud. <laughs> Code, don't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Boom. Boom. Oh no. Look out, Re Reuben. It's coming for you. Oh, so close. One, one more, one more. I got one more shot. Ready? Where'd it go? Come here. Last one. Oh, I got him. I think I got him. Oh, I got a good look. Did I shoot your leg? Oh, I think it stopped at the the wall. <laughs> Miss me, code. Oh. Okay, you think you're so smart, sir. 
Okay, so it looks like we're going to Okay, so let's do this. Let's move this one. Okay, we're going to move you right next to this one. And then this one is going to go right on top of that one. And this one on top of that one. And this one on top of that one. There we go. <laughs> Did I get you? Ooh, I got him. Got him right in the heart. Oh, poor Reuben. I don't. I, it looks like I might need to come over one unit. But that's fine. Come on. That's a little intimidating. You don't want to like go driving through that, you know. That is cool how it like short stops right there. We should program something like that. I should show how to make a, a, the, the defaultio lasers. <sighs> Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. It was your choice. You were here, you watched, you had fun. Love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. <sighs> Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.